now can we all quiet down Mr. Rodriguez? Okay. Uh, first, I'll enlighten Mr. Rodriguez because that should be the first act of the day. My dog Steve. All right, now let's get to the actual lesson on pre-algebra. So, uh, for pre-algebra, first, we're going to look at multiplying and dividing with fractions. Don't assume I know it. We learn basic multiplication a while ago and you still don't know not that. This okay, is. Professor. So, anyways, we put it in the tens place because we this is actually four. Tens place? Can you explain that? Now, if you don't know this trick, 
it is very, wait, 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 wait. This is 20 over 3. I may or may not have made a blunder. This is 540. And what is 54 over 6 again? Well, 50, it should be 7. 9. Not 9. Alright, so 9 times 54. So this is 90. Never mind that mistake, everybody. Sorry for the mistake. Um, 27 over 2, 20 over 3. Now we want to divide these, so if you don't know this trick, you should really learn it. So first, let's cancel these out. You can switch this for a multiplication sign at the cost of inverting the other fraction. So now here we are with the answer with 27 times 3 going to be equal to 81 over 10. Which is equal to 8.1. But what does 8.1 mean? Well, that brings us to today's new subject of decimals. Now, decimals are uh, going to be a very vital part of math, and they also allow us to represent fractions easily. Here, we have to go through a whole hassle of mixed fractions and fractions to multiply and divide them. But uh, with decimals, it's just easy one, two, three, just like normal numbers. So, how do we use decimals? How can we use decimals? So, uh, I'm going to erase this. Please stand by. We'll be right back. Which is basically just the 
dividing the number by 10. Amount of rules of multiplication with fractions. Now, hundreds, the same rule applies to hundreds in any decimal place down the line after that. Now, let's start with the example. 891, you have to put the decimal point in here. Point seven nine. Now, how do we know the magnitude of this nine? Well, just like we can tell place value for the first three, one ten and one hundred, we can just multiply of the by nine by one hundred. We uh, multiply one hundred by ten and one hundred. You multiply this by one hundred, but you divide this by one hundred. So nine hundred is equal to nine over one hundred. Sneak peek on that a little later in this today's lecture. Now, um, how can we add and subtract these things, you may ask? So first, let's try to add. And I'm going to come up with some, I'm going to try to come up with some creative numbers. Five, I'll say. 